Hello one and all, nice to see you back here once again in the gaming pantry with the Retro Bear and it is another Wii Collection video, this we are doing H.I. and the number 32 and don't forget the Retro Bear is a production of the Children's Television Workshop I am the grouch without the can Yes, welcome back once more uh, Thank you very much for tuning in, if you are following this series, well done um, I'm, I'm not sure how you're managing it, I really don't know I'm sure there's a lot of people who, who do struggle to sleep and they use these videos to drift off into the background. I don't blame you, really, because uh, it's, 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 well, I don't know, some people are really enjoying this, which is good. And I'm enjoying it as well. We're having a lot of fun with this. I think, oh, excuse me, I think what we like to have is, is you know, an absolute stone-cold classic on our hands here. I think it's probably kill kill collection videos. It's got be, it's got to be done something like that, hasn't it? We are probably killing collection videos. Anyway, this is part six. Not quite halfway yet. We're nearly there. Uh, if you haven't seen the other parts, don't forget to go back and check them out because um, you might find something interesting. Uh, we've done naught uh, to nine and A. We've done B and C, D and E, F and G. Today, H and I. Oh. I've just pulled these off the shelf. You may notice that's why there's a gap. See, we're there now. That's where we are. That's where we are. That's why there's a gap. That's why there's a mushroom sat there. I'm trying to hide the wallpaper. Just above my head, actually. I've got a mushroom. I'm sort of doing my best Jason Lee impression. I've got a mushroom on my head. It was a pineapple, wasn't it, I think? Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, so, should we crack on? This is H&I. And again, thank you to everybody who's been watching these up until now. Um, it's been great to get your feedback and I hope you've been enjoying these as much as I have doing them because let's be honest with you there's a right old load of tit in this isn't there right old load of tat right what have we got here then so we might as well start as we mean to go on haven't we um, eesh. Hannah Montana Spotlight World Tour do you know the conversation I had about before I bought this game was uh, with Mrs Bear about it I said I'm not buying Hannah Montana for 50p in CEX, I am not. I'm not joking you. I must have gone to CEX probably about must have gone about five weeks in a row before I actually thought, you know what? I'm going to start picking these up. I'm going to have to pick this one up. Um, yeah. So the evil of the day. That's an evil, nasty thing to say. Isn't it? Yeah, Hannah Montana Spotlight World Tour. Because we all joke about it and have a bit of fun. It's got the manual. It's got the safety manual. It's got the custom game sticker. Uh, join Han superstar Hannah Montana on her world tour. This one passed me by. The whole Hannah Montana thing. I've got no idea what it's about. But it looks like it's a singing and dancing and style game. Dance to over 15 hit Hannah songs. Star in spectacular concerts in cities around the world. Perform and shop in cities around the world, including Paris, London and Sydney. So, yeah, I'm sure there's, there's a market for that. I'm sure there was. Not as far as I know, anyway. Uh, now, if they... You know, one it wasn't bad enough. They made another one, uh, Hannah Montana the movie. How do you make a film out of this? How do you make a film out of it? Dear oh dear oh dear. Purple disc, nice colours on these weed discs. Uh, that is a safety manual in that one. No, I think somebody was obviously scrutinising it before playing the game. Live the best of both worlds. Someone's got to own them, folks. I own them because you don't have to. Perform and dance as Hammer Montana or Miley Stewart. I was trying to work out who... Yeah, Miley Cyrus, isn't it? I was trying to work out if it was Taylor Swift or not. Oh, so I'm so... <laughs> so out of touch with the... No longer down with the kids, you know, with their their rap music and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah not me. Uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's move swiftly on. Um, to uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Now, here's another thing I don't particularly like. Harry Potter. But I've got to say, I don't mind the games. I don't mind the games. No manual. Oh, I forgot to write that phrase down. Somebody will know what that means. I should have written that down. Next video. Next video. Uh, this spells war. Why would I pick that up with that manual? Probably because it was cheap. Well, there's some of them Harry, PlayStation 3 ones. Harry Potter now. They're going mad prices. Uh, so I picked up a couple, I think for 99p each, and 
they're regularly selling over for 20 quid now. I can't which ones were they? Which ones they are? Um, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. I'm not sure. I think is this the one I played? No, I played one of the other ones. I'll show you which one I played before, which I quite enjoyed. Uh, there is a manual and a safety instruction. Also, I think Quidditch instructions. And uh, yeah, there we go. Feel the thrill of Quidditch. Defeat the dark forces. Some of the wizard within you. Luke, I am your father. That's the wrong set of films, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> Not much more I can add to that. This one I have played a little bit of. I think, if I remember correctly, is this the one that starts with the the flying on the broomstick sequence? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, on the game, anyway. I, like I said, I'm, I'm no fan of Harry Potter, I'm afraid. It's just not my thing. Um, but there's a manual, and there's also safety instructions as well. I think this is one... Um, we've got a map in this one. Oh, yes, we have, yeah. Yeah, there's like a, a fold-out thing with the Harry Potter team. All your favourites, like, you know... Um, Davy and uh, Bonzo, Steve, Frank, Catherine. Yeah, they're all in there. I'm pretty sure they're all in there. And there's a map on the back as well. Harry Potter and the uh, video game map. I've got no chance of reading that. I'm going to need a telescope to sort of <laughs> get that into view. Yeah, so there we go, manual, map and everything. I think I've got this on the PlayStation, the PlayStation 3 games, which is quite expensive. Discover the magic of Hogwarts. Hog Hogwarts? Hogwarts. No, thank you. Explore all of Hogwarts to recruit Dumbledore's army, overthrow Umbridge, and prepare to fight Voldemort and his Death Eaters. That means something to somebody. Okay? Not me. Now, ha ha. Well-known game series time. You might have actually found some games that people want to see harvest moon magical medley melody medley melody um not one of the best from what i understand but i've never i never played a harvest moon game i think i played um i did i think i briefly played it years and years ago never went to that to it but you know start a farm and build a village i love the idea of it this and like farming simulator and to a you know, lesser extent Animal Crossing but yeah these are sort of th things if I had the time to sit down and play them I would do I have neither the time nor the patience to sit there and build a farm I'd love to sit there and build a farm um, and this is Tree of Tranquility in the Harvest Moon series I think there is another game in this series I'm pretty sure there is and that's the most expensive one of the lot you don't see that one very often um, I think I've got these relatively cheap it is also um in this one we've got the nintendo club i uh, think which has been unscratched loads of these that's why they don't do them anymore now because people keep buying wii games and all those unused club points are in there if they didn't mean anything i don't know uh, get a real feel for farming this there's some scary words for you but yeah, so it's it's a yeah. If I had the time to sit down and play them, I'm sure I would absolutely love those games. I really would, but I don't. Another game series for you now. Um, Hasbro Hasbro Family Game Night with Boggle Battleship Yahtzee. Sorry, Sliders. Sorry, Sliders. I've never heard of that one. And Connect Four with Mr. Potato Head as your host. That's exactly what it is. It's just a series of board games turned into a Wii game. But they aren't cheap, these ones. They're not, not, not cheap at all. They, they do cost a little bit of pickle. So there's five games, six games on there, I think. Um, there's also uh, a second game in the series. And this one's got, probably got a bit more um, names that you know. Uh, Operation, uh, Connect Four again, Jenga. Got Picturica down the bottom and Bop It. I did a Bop It before. Connect 4 was on the previous one, wasn't it? Jenga, Jenga's also got its own game, so why that is a bit cheeky, that one, to bring that out. Nice look on the disc, though. I like the uh, the style on that one. And, um, yeah, play your favourite games in the Hasbro Family Game Show. How they're going to work, I don't know, but... You know, design what it was for, Family Games, and that's it. I think there were four games in this series. I've only got the first three. 
So there's the third one. We've got now this is more more board games. So you're going to you know sort of realise these. We've got Cluedo Twister. How that works on the Wii, I've got no idea. Um, the Game of Life. Wow, that's going back a few years. Yahtzee and Mousetrap. That's quite a good lineup. That you took a look at that. Yeah, I quite fancy playing that. Uh, also got an advertisement for Monopoly Street. In there. Everything's upside down. Why is it upside down in this one? Uh. Obviously, I haven't checked. All sorts of bumps in that one. There we go. Uh, yeah. So I've got these relatively cheaply. Um, so like I said, nice of these hold their value. I think with the Harvest Moon ones, I think I paid... I got those on the cheap. I think the second one, Tree of Tranquility, I got really on the cheap. It shouldn't have been as cheap as it was, um, certainly. Just in case the right place, the right time. Just just walk into place and pick stuff up. Ah, Heat Seeker. I've tried to get on with this, but I just couldn't get used to the controls. I hate controls for the sort of flight games. I really do. And it's a Codemasters game as well. And I think it's came out on PlayStation 2. Dead cheap to pick up. It, it's, it's not a bad game. It, it, it sort of gets good reviews and some people think eh, it's all right it's not great and some people say it's absolutely terrible so you, you know you have to sort of look at these things yourself and and play them for it i couldn't quite get on with it i'd like to go back and give it another go because i think it'd be quite good you don't get many flight simulators on the wii as well there's no pilot wings for example uh, i think we showed blazing angels in the b section of the video but there aren't many of them uh fight to win and fight to stay alive and it says blistering the explosive end gamer uh, but I don't know much about that one. Other than the fact I can't get on with it. Now, everybody's got to have a game in this series in their collection. I don't care what it is. Um, you've all got Hello Kitty games. I know you have. I've got Roller Rescue, which is actually a really fun little game. I've not played this one, so I've got no idea what it's about. But there's a penguin on the front. Not a penguin in a scarf. Well, that's not a bad thing, is it, really? No raccoons, but there's a penguin. Um, I don't even know what this game's about. <laughs> I just bought it because I thought I'll grab this while I can because you know these things sort of tend to hold their value. Well, I say hold their value for a couple of quid, isn't it? It's not massively. Oh, so it's actually sort of like you know you help build San Rio Town. Um, as the season changes, you and your town will face new challenges to overcome. Build up your town, customize your avatar, unlock upgrades. Oh right, so it's um sort of a Harvest Moon Animal Crossing type game with Hello Kitty characters. I've got a great idea. Hello Kitty is a big thing, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. Well, what we could do is make a farming game out of it or build a town around it. What a fantastically good idea. Do you know what? I really, really, really love that. Level, um, next, now, oh, God. If, if there's ever a game that I was so disappointed in playing, <laughs> for all the wrong reasons, it's this one. And people, uh, most disappointing game ever. Probably yes, because I was expecting so much more. Hell's Kitchen, the game with Gordon Ramsay on the front. Now I, I'm a big fan of the American version of Hell's Kitchen. I always I've watched all all the series, all the seasons on ITV2 over here in the UK, uh, and they leave all the swearing in, which is great. And I was expecting a sort of similar version to that. Mine it says 12 plus. You thought, well, perhaps you're going to get something like that. Oh no, you don't. No, no, no. This is this is. Watered down Gordon Ramsay. This is disappointing Gordon Ramsay. This is I want my 50p back. Your chance to impress Gordon Ramsay. I mean, it looks vaguely like him there. You know, if he'd been, you know, sort of repeatedly hit round the head with a large flat object, possibly. Um, your every move will be watched and judged by Gordon Ramsay. I mean, it looks, it, it, but it's, it's actually a restaurant. It, it's, it's not actually the TV series. It's sort of like it's set in a restaurant. I know the TV series is set in a restaurant, but it's like, yeah, and they just, oh, I just, just terribly disappointed. Really was, really was. Wanted it to be a bit better than that. Just wanted Gordon Ramsay to swear at me. Is there something, is there something wrong with that? Does it make me dirty? I don't know. Um, oh, Hidden Mysteries Titanic. Secrets of the Fateful Voyage. If that's now, there's, there's two Titanic games, I think, for the Wii. This is the cheaper one of the two. Again, they don't drop in too much in value. I can't remember what the other one's called now. I think it's just called Titanic. But yeah, um, 
I know a lot of people like these hidden hidden object games. I don't, not overly my sort of thing. I bought a load on the DS to try and get into them, but I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, hidden Mysteries Titanic takes place aboard the RMS Titanic on a fateful maiden voyage across the Atlantic. Um, overcome challenging puzzles and obstacles to progress to the ship's timeline, starting from the 10th of April 1912, the date that it left Southampton, to the cold night of April the 13th, 1912. When the Titanic was sunk between the waves. Oh, spoilers. Anyway, um... Yeah. <laughs> People are sitting there, why does he buy these if he doesn't like them? Oh, I, I don't know, I just have, you know, no sense or money, which is why I'm, I'm, I don't buy Wii games. I mean, if, I, if I had money and no sense, can you imagine the amount of crap I would buy? I did, that's why I got into trouble. <laughs> High School Musical, sing it. Yes, no, sing it, go on, sing it. Go on. Go on, sing High School Musical. I can't hear you. All songs from both movies. God. Why is this so heavy? Why Why is that weigh a ton? It's a singing game. One, plug in microphone. Two, watch the words. Three, sing along. Can't be more difficult than that. Become the star. Take to the stage and become a High School Musical karaoke superstar. Songbook including 30 lyrics. Earn outfits. Well, I mean, any game that you have to earn some clothing is, is I, I, I don't know, seriously. And that was a thing once. It was a when high school musical was a thing once. No, 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 no. There's another game I was slightly disappointed with because I, I love the TV series and I, I, I love the, the people behind it. Um, and this is Horrible History's Ruthless Romans. And all it is is a collection of mini games. It's got none of the sort of feel of the TV series. I'll show you the back of the this is the cardboard box. It's actually a slipcase. And it's got none of the feel of the TV series for me in that. It's just uh man, it was disappointing. Really thought they could have made a lot more effort with this. Um interestingly, this is a limited edition. I say limited edition, it's not super expensive to pick up at all. In fact, it's dirt cheap. Um but it also contains there we go. A book in there. Fancy doing some reading. I mean, who thought gamers would be able to read? Well, that's another thing, isn't it? Oh, it's actually got... Yeah, there you go. It's not all pictures. And, and it does look like the writing is quite close together. So that might be a challenge to read that. Be a challenge for some people. You can see just why they'd buy the original version on its own. So that's the game. Actually, the game's in really good nick. I'm going to say really, really good nick. And I'll show you the back of that. I'll just show the back of the box again very, very quickly. If you've never seen horrible histories it's um man there's, there's so many sort of it's, it's a strange way to describe it um it's sort of made for children but there's like a real adult element underlying to it uh, it's also by the same people who've done ghosts recently if anyone's seen on bbc one um yeah it, it, it is just one of those sort of things where you know it educates children which is fantastic but it also gives adults a bit of a laugh at the same time as well and i think that's um you know we, we, we always we always like when the kids pro i mean when, when i was a kid um you know adults used to come home and regularly sort of chuckle at uh what was it uh made marion and a merry men with tony robinson because it was like it was like black adder for kids but you know um parents used to enjoy it as well so they should show those again shouldn't they they were good uh, from back of the days of yore. Um, I'm aware of this character, Horrid Henry, but I, I don't know anything else about it. Missions of Mischief. This, I think, at one point was about sort of eight quid. I think I got mine for a two. I, really get for, I got it for a quid out of a charity shop. I couldn't quite believe it. It was still selling for eight quid in CEX. I don't know what price it is now. Um, but I don't know where, where this, this character has come from. Uh, it sounds like it's sort of a Dennis the Menace type of thing. That's dating me quite a bit, but um, yeah. Anyway, so Horrid Henry, Missions of Mischief. Again, I got that purely because it was a game with value at a cheap price. Um, oh, there's the price on this one. Yeah, I paid one pound fifty for this. 
There we go, one pound fifty. Happy feet. Yeah, because if one thing the world doesn't need more of is dancing penguins. There we go, take that off there. I, I don't know, film about tap dancing penguins. Is there something not quite right with that? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There is actually another one of this. It's Happy Feet 2 as well. I believe they made another one of these. Um, never found it. I've got it on PlayStation 2, I think. On PlayStation 2. No, I haven't. Ah, I'm sure I picked it up recently on something else. Can't be Xbox, surely. No, I don't know where I got that from. Yeah, step into Mumble's happy feet as you belly sled, dance and swim your th way through Antarctica. Yep. Yeah. Tap into the adventure and fun. No. There's not much there, I can tell you that. That's either adventure or fun. Now this one I think was one of the games donated by my very good friend, uh, Mr Retro Games Revived. A couple of years ago. Um... So they sent me a lot of Wii games. Very, very generous guy. And this is Hot Wheels Track Attack. It's in a cheap game. It's again, sort of, I think, a six to ten pound game usually. Don't think there's a manual with this one. Oh, there we go. There's a safety instruction. No manual with this one, but um, grateful to receive this donation. Not played it yet. So probably at least another three years before I get around to playing it. I'm not sure if these games are any good or the, top, the, the Hot Wheels ones. There's just quite a few of them knocking about on different systems. I've got a spinning around look at my PlayStation 2. I'm sure I've got one on the PlayStation 2. It begins with H. Um, yeah, Hot Wheels World Races. I thought I got one on that one. Right. Um, let's just backtrack to the crap. Hotel for Dogs. 505 Games. Our old friends at 505. Right, was this a film? I think this was a film, wasn't it? Yeah, DreamWorks Pictures. So not only did they make a film about Hotel for Dogs, uh, they've also made a game about it. I mean, how do they reach up and ring the counter to get the bell? You know, service. How do they get down in the elevator? How do they get down in the lift? Uh, who presses the button for them in the lift? they got a man who stands there and presses the button. So many strays, so little time. Which is every excuse not to play this. Oh dear me. What's up next? Now this one I remember picking up a long, long time ago. Very, very long time ago. I don't see it all that often. I've got to be honest with you. It's not a game that I'm, I I see with a, a regular ab abandon. And this is uh, Hysteria Hospital Emergency Ward. So, I'm not sure that's quite the guy sort of laughing there in the background. You know, obviously we've got some sort of crisis going on here. He's having a bit of a laugh there. Idiot. Try and spin the disc around so you can see it. So, oh, well, no, so far. Um, yeah. So, as a female or male nurse, organise the ward and direct the patients their treatment. Uh, as quickly as possible. We can design and improve the ward for life-saving efficiency to be the best head nurse in America. Oh, that's what dates it a bit. Seven different wards to run from a local Maryville clinic through to New York Central Hospital over 60 levels, including the endless mode that steadily increases in challenge as you progress. So it's like a theme hospital type thing, which is probably done on the cheap. I don't know. Um, five languages in one. That always gives you an idea, but it's any good or not. From Oxygen Games. That will leave you out of breath. Sorry, that's best good caught me. This is quite topical, isn't it? I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. No, seriously. Um, Mindscape. Don't see this one all that often either. I have no... In I know a lot, a lot of people watch the, the TV series. I don't. I've got no interest in watching sort of like um, Kerry Katona sort of like putting scorpions up her arse. I, I've really got no interest in that sort of thing. Um, yeah, put your skills and determination to the test in the 20 Bush Tucker Trials. Play with up to four people. You can find four people to play this. 
Uh, but you can use the balance board on it as well, which is something, I suppose. I've got that for 150 and it was selling for about four at the time. Now, understand there's two games in this series. I know nothing about this. People at work had to tell me what this was because of their children. Um, iCarly. Now, that really should be filed under N for Nickelodeon because it's actually got an N. See, that's been Nickelodeon iCarly. Mm. See, my, my own system's falling over here. Um, but apparently, there's two games in this series, and two of the ladies that work out to explain to me what it was. I've been, I've been out down to the local town centre and during my lunch and come back with this and a couple of other games. And I said, Have you heard of this? And they went, Oh, yeah, we know that. You know, my, my daughter used to watch that. Yeah, yeah, they're like, Yeah, no idea. What have you bought it for? I don't bring it. Join the cast of iCarly. Actually, one of the ladies I spoke who was talking about there was actually one who gave me those Xbox games a few weeks ago. I think she's back at work tomorrow. She speaks about those DS games you may have. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but it should be under N for Nickelodeon. So, short one up for my crap filing system. Uh, next up is Ice Age 4 Continental Drift Arctic Games. That's a long title, isn't it? Um, got the manual and the disc. Good series of films, these. I think they've got a, not quite as good as they've gone on, but the first one was great. You said the first one was really good. Um, you got that annoying Sid character and all your favourites there. Skippy and um, Lassie. Uh, Champion the Wonder Horse. They're all in this, so it's, it's great fun. Definitely worth picking up if you can. Again, I think that's a, getting one of these games doesn't drop in value. I don't see this one very often. It's not an expensive game at all to pick up. And it's based on a film, apparently. Um, Eagle. But looking in the mirror. He's got a better eyesight than me. Um, but this is actually based on a film. Never even heard of it. He's got a monster of an idea. Basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. Well, that's me out of it, isn't it? Me stuffed. Um, yeah, relive some of the movie's most thrilling moments as you explore seven levels filled with non-stop action and adventure. Not my words, the words of the back cover and the idiot who wrote this. So, yeah, I don't know. It's um, It's a thing, apparently. It's a thing. Now, I did warn you. We're in ropey territory. Imagine Champion Rider. I am. It's looking nothing like that. It's a horse racing game. Well, I say it's a horse racing game. It's sort of like a, a horse game. Um, oh, we've got a great big sticker across the, the young lady's face there. Which is really good. And a horrible looking disc. With three different languages on it. That's always a bad sign. Um... I'm not even going to pronounce it. Alexandra Leiderman. Uh, La Colline au Chaveau Sauvages. So that's Alexandra Leiderman and the quest for the horse savages. I'm translate to her. And we've got... Um, I think that's in German. I, mean, I can't even try, I'm not even going to try going there with that one there. A wilderness adventure on Mustang horseback. Is that even a sentence? I think it makes sense. Take the saddles for Lily's most challenging adventure yet. Who's Lily? Is there a game before this? Roam freely through stunning surroundings, caring for Mustangs, threatened by extinction. They're not cars, aren't they, Mustangs? Cars? Ugh. Now, if you thought Girls Lie Sleepover Party was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. Imagine Fashion Idol. I'm trying to. Yeah. You can use a balance board as well. <laughs> oh, look. Ubisoft games for everyone. That's interesting. That's again, pets, imagine. And we did that in a couple of videos ago, I think. If you want to, in, you know, go for the thrills of that. If your life isn't complete without looking through a Ubisoft brochure, go back a couple of videos. Uh, manual and disc. Um, and again, we've got 
um, foreign languages. Um, Leia Passion, Star de la Mod. That's really bad pronunciation. Um, take centre stage in a fashion reality TV show. This makes it three games I've got for fashion reality TV shows. Although it's actually, yeah, it's actually based on the, on a TV series. Um, yeah, make all the right moves using the Wii balance board or the Wii remote nunchuck to strike the right poses on the catwalk in front of the car. Oh, God. Go and watch my video on America's Top Model. It'd be like that. Probably not quite as good. Oh, some sense of normality is restored. It's Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. Now, there we go. Manual and disc. Not too difficult to pick up this one. But I think it's more, rather than sort of like the, the usual sort of Indiana Jones thing we've been used to over these, like point and click adventures. Um, you know, and the sort of less, the, the sort of rubbishy Temple of Doom. Um, Last Crusade adventure games. This is sort of an adventure game. Grab your whip. <laughs> um, immersive controls of the Wii Remote will make players of all ages and abilities feel like indie. Mm. An all new story. Unusual environment. Yeah, get a couple of quid that one will probably set you back. I think it's Emperor's Tomb on the Xbox or something, which is a similar game. Possibly. I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> now, I'm still laughing at this game. I was on a, on a live stream back in April, I think it was on Dainster's channel. No, I don't know. I wasn't Dainster's channel, no. I wasn't on the stream. I was watching somebody else. He had some toy collectors on. And uh, this one guy was sort of uh, his, comment his wife, his girlfriend, his partner, uh, used to work for Sega or and worked on a game called, uh, worked this Wii game. And um, she said something like that. It was, it, it was, it was for, she might work for Gandhi, but I can't remember. She's saying, but basically that was the sort of last game they did for that for the Wii system, and that was it. It was just terrible. And uh, she said no one bought it. And I said, oh, I've got a copy of it. And then they sort of quite. Dan goes, yeah, there he goes. That's the one person who bought the copy of the game that you're talking about. And it's Jumbo Safari Ranger Adventure. And I think Jumbo Safari was an arcade game originally, years and years ago, back in days of yore. It's got a giraffe skin um, disc there, which is quite fluffy to touch. That, yeah. And become a safari park ranger. And I think Jumbo Safari, when it was in the arcade, you had to go around taking photographs, rescue missions, explore, customize. Yeah, take on missions, rescue exotic animals with animals with your lasso. Why that, 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 that dangerous indeed? Isn't it? Lasso a lion. I think the last thing you want to be doing is lassoing your lion. One to four players, and you can train for your ranger certificate as well. That's fantastic. Because being a bear, it'd be quite ironic to be sort of trained as a ranger, wouldn't it, really? Uh, somebody somewhere's laughing. Hopefully. Well, that's your opinion. Um, right, three to go. Urn Man 2. Okay. No manual. Damn. Nearly got through this one, just the one manual missing. Um, this is based on the second film, which I never watched all the way through. Suit up as Iron Man or War Machine in a story that takes you beyond the movie. Mm, apparently. And then it's Iron Man. Now, Iron Man 2 goes before Iron Man because Iron Man 2 has got numbers after it. That's how we do things at work with stuff like that. I've spoken to our accountant. We're listing things. We're listing things like that. That's how we do it. Iron Man, which was a great film. Really did enjoy that one. Um, Sega developed as well. Uh, without the manual as well, so I'm missing manual on that one. I've got the safety instructions. Well, hey, great. I'm missing the manual on that one. I remember playing the demo on this to PlayStation Three and being distinctly unimpressed. Like I think most people were. Uh, we call a one-man army. You ever come a one-man leggy? This one-man army. Features the voice talent of Robert Downey Jr. and Terence Howard from the blockbuster movie. There we go. And the final game. I've, I've shown this one a few weeks. It's nice to actually finish on a decent game for a change. Um, and I mentioned this a few weeks ago when I was doing um, sort of Wii games with the Cooper's World. Um, and this is Ivy the Kiwi from the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog. And a very, very unique little game, this one, where you, you're sort of literally just drawing a line for your Kiwi to run up and down. 
and you're going to be really, really clever. It's a, it's a tricky puzzle game, uh, platformer puzzle, really. It's really, really honestly, and the art styling as well. Just take a look at the, the the style of this in the back here. Really is. I mean, okay, yeah, I, you know, I know slug off games with four languages on there. What's saying ain't very good. This is this is. It's not, you know, top ten Wii games ever, but you know, it would certainly sort of sit in the top hundred quite easily. You know, if you are collecting Wii games and only the good games, and then basically you've got a list of six so far from the three hundred or so I've shown you. Um, that one probably should be sitting somewhere on it. I know a couple of people, and I, I showed it off and talked about it on on uh, live pickups with Cooper's World a couple of months back. Quite a few people went out to try and find that, which is always great because people are going to try and buy them after I've talked about them. That's great. I found that really, really good, that's, and proves that you know this is having the effect it should do. I wanted people to sort of watch these videos and it inspired you to go and buy games or, or try and try games that you hadn't played before. It's working. Anyway, there we go. Uh, so that's that then, that's H and I. Oh dear, that's a long one. I've been talking non-stop for about an hour and three quarter now. I'm going to stop. Um, yeah, great. So I hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment, tick the bell for when the other ones call. I think we're doing JK and L next. And I think we're at the halfway point then. That'll be video number seven. We're roughly about halfway. JK and L to come. And you know what's going to be in that, don't you? I'm going to tell you. Yeah, yeah, watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm going to spoil it for you. Besides, if I'd have spoiled it for you, you wouldn't watch it. Indeed. Right, in that case, um, I'm going. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. I've just clicked something there, which is wrong to thing to do. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. As I said, don't forget, if you enjoyed these, don't forget to come back for more. Thank you for your support so far. It's been really great. I really enjoyed doing these, and I'm glad you enjoyed them too. Until we speak again, this is the Retro Bear saying, take care. And bye for now.